This morning, we are getting our first look inside the school in Pakistan where Taliban gunmen massacred more than 100 children and burned some female teachers alive. Clarissa Ward is in London following developments in Peshawar. Clarissa, good morning. Good morning. Pakistan's prime minister has lifted a moratorium on the death penalty as three more staff members died from their injuries. And in schools across the country this morning, we have seen children gathering and praying together for those who lost their lives. Allah Akbar. As families continued to bury their dead, three days of mourning began. Terrorist attacks are all too common in Pakistan, but few have been quite as deadly or as brutal as this one. Almost all of those killed in yesterday's eight-hour siege were students. One boy who escaped described the attack. Suddenly there was gunfire behind us, he said. Some kids were killed and I was shot in the back. The attack began at around 10 a.m. At least seven men stormed into the military-run school, opening fire indiscriminately on teachers and students with guns and grenades. Soon after, Pakistani army commandos arrived on the scene. Gunfire and explosions were heard from inside. The militants had planted bombs throughout the school. When it was over, more than 140 people were dead leaving a nation reeling. What did we do wrong, this schoolboy from Peshawar asked. We're not from the army or the Taliban, but they killed small kids. The Pakistani Taliban claimed the attack was revenge for ongoing military operations in northern Waziristan that have targeted their hideouts near the Afghan border and which have claimed more than 1,000 lives by the army's own count. One of the many funerals being held today is for the school's principal, Mrs. Tahira Kazi. A school employee told CBS News that she asked the attackers to use all their bullets on her and to spare the children she was shot more than 50 times. Gail? Oh, oh my, my goodness, gosh. Clarissa. Way to wait. What a way to end that story. Thank you so much. And just to hear a student say, what did we do wrong? What did we do wrong? And a principal once again saying, I'll take the bullets for these children. Oh. And does so. Yeah. Carissa, thank you again.